510 West 49th Street, Indianapolis, Indiana. Hinkle Fieldhouse for the West Region. Eight seed Oklahoma Sooners from the Big 12 against the one seed Gonzaga Bulldogs from the West Coast Conference. The winner gets either Creighton or Ohio moving on to the Sweet 16. With Lawrence Shahadi, Debbie Antonelli, I'm Carter Blackburn. And if we know one thing about college basketball in 2021, it's this. Gonzaga is really, really good. <laughs> They're really good. You're right. They're perfect. They're the most highest scoring team in the country. They're the most efficient team. And they have a variety of ways that they can beat you. Starts with Corey Kispert. Size to finish in transition. Three-point range to stretch the counter on the inside. Drew Timmy, who can defend his position as well as be an asset on the interior. They facilitate through him. And Austin Reeves for Oklahoma, their leading scorer. He's got to make shots. He's got to get everyone involved. The Sooners also have to play great transition defense. Keep Gonzaga in front and guard their own Carter, because if you overhelp, the ball's getting skipped for a bucket on the other side. Lon Kruger from Silver Lake, Kansas. He's guided three teams into the Sweet 16, including the Oklahoma Sooners. As we take a look at the starting lineups, an intriguing big man matchup between Brady Manick and Drew Timmy on both ends of the floor. Gonzaga coached by Mark Few from Presswell, Oregon, the 14-time West Coast Conference Coach of the Year, more than any coach in any conference ever. So Oklahoma versus Gonzaga, and Debbie, there's kind of a, with Doug Shouse, William Henderson, and Michael uh, Irving officiating, there's kind of a, a question about do you slow it down and try and slow Gonzaga down, or do you score or try and score with the Zags? They're going to score at least 85. You, you can't slow them down. You're going to have to be able to score with them. And this pick and pop right here is a great start for the Oklahoma Sooners. That's what Brady Manick has to do at a high level today. Manick and Timmy, both ends of the floor. Spinning inside. Look for Timmy. Offensive rebound and a second chance for Timmy. Right at Manick off the window. One on one in the post. Expect to see that. Mixing up when the double comes, when you can, but Gonzaga accelerates and their cadence through their offense is so good. You've got to guard your own, Carter. House in the house here, but he's a pretty good one in Jalen Suggs. Manning off the window again. So we told you about the big man, and sure enough, first three shots of the game come from Manic and Timmy, and now Suggs attacking as he has all year for the Bulldogs. Even if you're there on the closeout, every one of these Gonzaga players can put it on the floor and go by. So talented, they space the floor so well, it's hard to bring help. Reeves, Mr. Do Everything for Oklahoma, drive. Dish, triple off the assist from Reeves. Gibson hits the three. One of the things that head coach Long Kruger is so good at is finding that matchup. He gets the switch right there, knowing that Gonzaga's going to switch, and Reeves makes a play. Ayayi misses his first look off the look from Timmy. I mean, look at Timmy guarding Reeves. Reeves gets oh. past him, attacks, and one. And here goes Austin Reeves, the senior from New Ark, Arkansas. Seven of the last 12 games, 20 plus from the floor, 23 against Missouri, and he is so good at getting contact, keeping his focus to finish with that 6-5 frame off the bounce. The Cedar Ridge Timberwolves back-to-back -back state titles. Five-point early lead for Oklahoma. First personal foul on Timmy, could be big Suggs. That's a reach in, it looks like that's on Hill. It'll be the first on the Sooners and Hill. A pretty good start for Oklahoma. I mean, confidence and seeing the ball go through the basket. Yeah, you can make Gonzaga take the ball out of the net. You got a better chance of setting your D. Baseline inbound, Nemhard misses. That's two looks near the basket early for the Bulldogs. Harkless driving at Timmy. So kick to the corner, Gibson again. 
What a start for Oklahoma. So explosive. So good, Carter. So smooth, three-level scoring. Great finisher in transition. Smart. Tipped away, and now Gonzaga in transition. Ayayi runs it on the wing, attacking Kispert. Follow-up, Ayayi. You make a mistake against Gonzaga, you're not going to recover. You cannot make back-to-back -back mistakes in this game. They can go quickly on a 5-0, 6-0 run. And you and Lon Kruger and everyone else has talked about how Suggs knocks that one away from Reeves. Shot selection has to be pretty much perfect because if it's not, Gonzaga gets out in transition. Yeah, they run the floor hard. They run it wide. Look how spread they are and how committed they are to getting to the rim. And Suggs off a closeout. Beautiful floater. On the baseline, out of bounds, Manic leaves it short. Timmy has the rebound. Timmy can handle it. Dribble handoff, Nemhard, the Florida transfer. Gives it right back. So Timmy, bring it inside. Reach in foul. It is on the floor, says Doug Chows. Now it's time for power behind the numbers presented by Powerade. And all of the Gonzaga numbers are impressive. First in scoring. First in field goal percentage. Top 10 in efficiencies on both ends of the floor. Oh, big win. And then Gonzaga gets it right back. Suggs, so Oklahoma gets a steal. And then Suggs brings it back. Nemhard step back with Maddox's hand in his face. Six straight for Gonzaga. Reeves off a good screen from Hill. Stops, pops, and Reeves is feeling it. That middle third, middle pick and roll. Oh. And Timmy gets up the court, right? You still take it out of the net, and Timmy releases up the floor to the rim. It's but just that, just like you said, Deb, you yeah. make a mistake, and they're off and running. But that middle third right there where you know that Timmy's going to switch on that ball screen coverage right here, and that's why Lon Kruger keeps going to it. Oh. Now Reeves attacking again. Count the bucket and one. Reeves is playing with passion. And the Sooners have an early four-point lead on Gonzaga. It is Austin Reeves attacking. Off the bounce, keeping it in the middle, getting to the rim with contact. Austin Reeves off to a hot start. Oklahoma by four early. Let's check in with Lauren Shahadi. Well, no, Davion Harmon in this game. He got to Indy a week ago, took a COVID test. It was positive. They thought maybe it's just a false positive. Took another one. It too was positive. Coach told me he feels great. 100% asymptomatic, which is great news, but it makes it even tougher for him to just sit in his hotel room and watch this team play basketball. I just asked Davion this morning, what the heck are you doing in there? Carter Debbie said, are you kidding? I'm dribbling, practicing from my bed. If we win, I'm out of this hotel room and I'm going to Sweet 16. A few defensive slides, a little ball handling going on <laughs> inside the hotel room. Feel sorry for the person uh, underneath. Hey, all of these student athletes have gotten used to working out in different circumstances, and so best to Davion. Kispert straight away. Timmy has the offensive rebound. Kispert again. How about a third chance? Suggs flies in, and now Jalen Suggs 0 for 3 on the trip for Gonzaga. One of the things Davion brings to this Oklahoma team is energy. That is not an issue right now for the right. Sooners. That's exactly right. They're shooting 75% against the best offense in the nation. Ayayi runs the Zags. Kisper tapped away by Harkless. Suggs gets it back. That's one of the things we talked about, Carter. You have to be able to score with Gonzaga because they are so efficient on the offensive end. Timmy off the shot fake. Foul on the floor on Manic. Scan this code now to watch live games on your computer, phone, tablet, or streaming device with NCAA March Madness Live. Watch now at NCAA.com slash March Madness or download the app today. With our producer, Craig Silver, director, Suzanne Smith, and a Hall of Fame crew here at Hinkle. Timmy gets the first. 
Mark Few says, hey, as long as we play free and fast, which is a lesson from Judd Heathcote, with Coach Magic, and certainly they played free yeah. and fast and spent all those years in Spokane. So how do the Zags get to playing free and fast? Well, their spacing is the most important thing. But everybody talks about spacing. If you don't have good cutters and you don't have scorers and shooters, the spacing won't matter, but it matters for them. They don't need to call as many sets. They're too talented, one through five. They just can read the D and make a play. Pressure handled by Reeves and the Sooners. Gets an off the shot fake. At nine, Harkless. Good screen. Harkless picks up the dribble. He needs help. Timmy D's it up. So down to quad and late in the clock. Boarded by Ayayi, great defensive trip for right. Gonzaga. They switch one through five, and Harkless has got to recognize the shot clock right there. Make the play. Timmy spins and finishes. Timmy! The best footwork for a big in college basketball. Harkless splits it into the paint. Harkless, the fearless Oklahoma Sooner. Harkless offensive rebound. Hill and a stick back. And that is doing work on the offensive glass. Suggs pushing. Kick back. Timmy corrals. And another foul. This one's off. No, tie up. Tie up. Possession arrow to Gonzaga. Watch for Timmy go to work. He makes this move so quickly. You dig, but you don't bring the double uses the rim to score on the other side so his shot doesn't get blocked. Ooh, there's Timmy with a foul on Hill. Ayayi cutting, and Ayayi is so good at cutting. That's one of the things that he does really well. And for Drew Timmy, you, you know, you got to make him play in a crowd, Carter. So you're going to watch Oklahoma. They're going to dig. Sometimes they'll double. They have to mix it up. You can turn him into a passer. One-on-one, -on -one, he's too tough of a matchup on the inside. Jalen Hill just got his second personal foul, so the Sooners playing shorthanded without Harmon. And now Hill goes to the bench early. E. Walker will take over. The sophomore from Nigeria, the Sulphur Springs, Texas. That hard off the bounce. Nine to shoot. Good hands and recover. Ayayi in the corner, four to shoot. Three, takes it, and drills it. Not just a cutter, he can shoot it too. <laughs> He's had the only triple-double in school history. He is a versatile player off the bounce, and He's made 31 threes on the season. A triple double versus Portland in early January. 14 assists. Arcos cut off, keeps the dribble alive. And now he needs some help. And Kispert doing a really good job of denying Austin Reeves the basketball. They're not letting him catch it back once he gives it up. Offensive foul and the charge drawn by Suns. Watch the ball movement. Kispert gets to the corner, stretches out the D. This is just one-on-one, -on -one, but you know what? That was a contested three late in the shot clock. I think Lauren Kruger's defense will take that. That's the first made three for Gonzaga. So if you're Oklahoma, you say you get this deep in the game, and that's the first made three for the Bulldogs? You know, and ironically, Oklahoma actually on the season makes more threes than Gonzaga does. It's a little misnomer about how good they are outside the arc. Now, they're capable. They just can score in so many other ways. Suggs, Knuckler. Quickly into the hand of Reeves. And Oklahoma's not afraid to run either. Reeves gets past Suggs and floats it in again. Reeves hot hand early. 10 early points. That is offensive foul. Reeves does it on the defensive end. End to end, Austin Reeves. Austin Reeves, we said he had to facilitate. He's doing that. Right here, legal defensive position. Suggs lowers his shoulder, and it doesn't matter who you put in the middle screen and roll, he's scoring on everybody. Unbelievably delicious Coca-Cola vanilla. Vanilla is hard to describe, but in a good way.
Lon Kruger found something that's working against the Gonzaga defense. It's the middle third pick and roll when he gets the switch. When drop coverage in the middle third. See, Timmy drops. Austin Reeves is like, I can score on you. He's had three, four buckets all in the paint, all off their middle pick and roll offense. And now he's setting up his ability to facilitate because let's see how Gonzaga decides to, draw, to defend that. Get it out of his hands off the shot fake. Gibson onto the wing. Williams to Manic for three. Let's check in with Lauren. I'm down here watching Coach Kruger tell Reeves attack the basket, which is so interesting because Reeves told me I was a spot shooter at Wichita State. They put me in the corner, told me to shoot, wind me up. I wanted to do more, and Coach saw the skill set, said he can drive and dish. Deb, you said it. They're not letting Reeves catch it back. He's taking him himself. Yeah, he is a, a point guard that answers the three W's, Lauren. Who to get the ball to, when, and where. And there was a guy named Landry Shamit who was uh, at mm -hmm. Wichita State who was a point guard while he was there. That's probably why, part of the reason why he was a good catch and shoot for them. Here's Manic backing in. Watson digs down. Manic leaves it short. Oklahoma trying to get back in defense and slow the Bulldogs. Just put off the window. Easier said than done. Big and strong. Finish left or right around the rim. In transition, so hard to match up. Reeves and Manic in the two-man game. It's again watching the sophomore. Guarding Reeves this time. Off the window, offensive foul. Wipe it out. Suggs draws another charge. That is two charges that Jalen Suggs has drawn. And this is a tremendous job from the weak side. Because Reeves is getting to the paint, and Suggs does a good job getting outside the restricted area. You referee the defense on that play. Good call by the officials. So how do you slow down Austin Reeves? You take charges, get him in foul trouble, and that is two on Austin Reeves. So he sits at the 10-24 mark, and that is very consequential. Hill and Reeves in foul trouble, especially without Harmon. Gisbert cut off, here's Timmy. Cook tries the three. Manic boards it. And with this lineup on the floor, let's see if they can get Brady Manic going. He made the first three of the game. He's got Kispert on him. Williams on the road. Manic rejected. Watson says, no, you are not getting going, Manic. Nemhard left alone, mid-range, too easy. So challenging to defend Gonzaga in transition because if you run back to the paint, they're going to spot up from three. You got to match up quickly. And when they block a shot, it's like a turnover. They're going, they're filling and running. Starting with D, and it has led to a 13-4 Gonzaga run. It's not just offense, it's all the D and a made buckets for the Bulldogs. At the home of the Butler Bulldogs, the Gonzaga Bulldogs by four. And now AT&T 5G takes us above the rim for one of the best plays of the day. They can score above the rim and they defend above Thank the rim. You. This is a fun Gonzaga offensive team, but I'll tell you what, they're doing a good job defensively, and I think Oklahoma is doing a solid job defensively. And how does Oklahoma score with Austin Reeves on the bench? And this is an interesting lineup right here. You gotta put it on the deck and get to the paint. Oh, Williams turns it over. Cindy Gonzaga on the run. Kispert in tight. Rejected from behind. Cook comes to get it. And now the Sooners run. Harkless looking for the trail, Gibson. End to end for Oklahoma, too. I mean, look how quickly Gonzaga got back and got organized. If you have a chance to have numbers, you got to take advantage of it. Williams drops it off. Harkless tries the three. Elijah Harkless rattles it home. He was big versus Missouri with a double-double. If they can stay within one, two, three possessions, you can keep Austin Reeves on the bench with those two fouls. Picked up the second at the 10-24 mark. Kispert has a three. Shot hadn't been perfect for Kispert of late, but it's going down now. You know what he does so well is it's not just the cutting to the basket to score. It's the exit cut 
from underneath the rim out to the perimeter to get his feet under his shoulders. He gets his feet down quickly to get into the rhythm of his shot. Williams off the window. Alonzo's Williams. Senior from Milwaukee. So Oklahoma finding enough offense without Reeves. Kisper, that is offensive foul. Williams draws the charge on Kisper. His second. This is the way you get up the court. What a block into their transition game. And then getting back on D, another charge by Gonzaga. This time on Kispert. I'm telling you, Oklahoma's playing good D right now. So how big of an issue for Gonzaga is that with Kispert going to the bench with two? Not as much. You know, I think Gonzaga is so good that they can survive foul trouble or any other adversity that could come their way late. Williams tries the three. Timmy boards it. Zach's flying. Suggs, good seal in time. Watson, another block, that's Quad. I mean, Quad is active, long and athletic, and there's numbers, a chance to score in transition. Sooners running two. Into the post, Timmy. Good seal, good hands, not just the feet, good hands. Oh no, he does the work early. I mean, he gets that seal way up the lane. And as good as Gonzaga is, they always look inside out. They're always trying to establish Timmy on the baseline. And I, th I think you're going to put him in some pick and roll action again. 10 for Timmy, 10 for Reeves, who's on the Oklahoma bench. Williams, what a look. Hill couldn't finish it. Timmy has the board. Timmy is always going to set that drag. He is a hard roller to the rim. A Yeti, hand in the bucket. And see, that's how you create space, Carter. It's another way that Gonzaga can create space, that drag and that hard roll to the rim. You can drag some defenders from the perimeter with you to give some space to your outside shooters. Harkless attacks on Nimhard. Harkless, nice kick out, Gibson triple. Harkless has the offensive rebound. He is fighting on the offensive glass. Harkless trying to back in. Shot clock at nine. Gives it, lets it fly, takes the bump. Play on. Timmy doesn't need the outlet. He brings it up right into the drag. Ayayi. Timmy fighting for the rebound. That is out of bounds. So Oklahoma hanging top with undefeated number one seed Gonzaga. Oklahoma has led by as many as eight. Watch the drag screen right here and then the hard roll to the rim. This is how you can create some space because Hill has got to tag the roller. The skip by Suggs. AIE wide open because Oklahoma can't cover it. You get numbers on that side of the floor because Timmy rolls so hard to the rim. You got to help. Reeves back on the floor for Oklahoma coming out of the timeout. So the Sooners keep it close enough with Reeves. And now Gonzaga tries to heat him up. Now, I'm not a big believer in the two foul rule, Carter, that you have to sit somebody. I think Lon Kruger trusts Austin Reeves to make sure he doesn't pick up a third before the half. And you need your best facilitator on the floor. Harkless for to shoot, drops it off. Webb. Harkless on the offensive glass. And Elijah Harkless is giving Oklahoma a lift with the second chance points. I mean, what a tough competitor. And he's got the assignment of Jalen Suggs. But, but Oklahoma will switch also. Wants it cut off. There's Quinn with another block. Creating the transition for Oklahoma, but guess who's there? Nemhard brings it right back. Interception. Nemhard, Reeves thought about trying to charge. Instead, it's Suggs off the look from Nemhard. Jalen Suggs, so good, so smooth. Largest lead for Gonzaga. Come on. 
Suggs Ding up Reeves. Harkless drops it off. Quet missed it at the rim. Quet's got to finish those. If you're going to knock off the number one team, the top seed in the tournament, you got to finish around the rim. Personal foul on Harkless. Well, with Oregon moving on now, 8 and 0, oh, the Pac 12 perfect in this year's tournament. How about Oral Roberts? Wow, what a great story. What an incredible run they're on. Second 15 seed to make the Sweet 16. Ayayi makes it a seven-point lead for Gonzaga, the junior from Bordeaux, France, as Manic comes back in for Oklahoma. So the offensive lineup on the floor for the Sooners with both Reeves and Manic back out there. Yeah, I'm looking for Coach Kruger going back to that middle pick and roll, especially with Timmy on the floor now, who will probably have the Manic assignment. The lead to eight. Extended pressure off the made free throws, Carter. 2 2 1. Reeves lost it at midcourt on the deck. Kept alive, out of bounds. Who touched it? Not reviewable. It will be Gonzaga basketball as the Bulldogs get on the floor. Reeves head down. They funnel him right into that corner where the midcourt line and the sideline with two defenders. Tough to handle out of that corner there. Now you can't make back-to-back -back mistakes, Carter, if you're going to try to beat Gonzaga. You know, that's a mistake right there. Now you got to make sure you get a stop. Oklahoma led by eight early. Now it's Gonzaga by eight. Timmy. Look at the clear out. By Suggs. Harkless tips it away. Yeah, overpassing by Gonzaga inside. Harkless attacks on Suggs. Watson digs down. Travel forces the travel. Good help D by Watson. And it's Gonzaga by eight. Can they cut down the nets when it's all done in Indy? Get complete coverage of the NCAA Division I Women's Tournament on NCAA.com. Gonzaga by eight on Oklahoma here. And what stands out to you, Debbie? The rebounding that Oklahoma is staying with them in, in rebounding and points in the paint, uh, important for Oklahoma. They've missed a couple of shots at the rim. They should be a little bit closer there. I expect uh, Oklahoma to be, continue to play with great toughness and confidence here. I mean, this is a tall task to take on Gonzaga. Suggs turns. MR cut off by Quest. And now enter it into Timmy. Quest rolls him up, and shot big. Timmy gets right around it. And look at that footwork. Beautiful. And everyone's cleared out to the weak side. You take the help away. There's no dig. There's no double. That's Timmy who puts you on an island defensively. And sometimes on skates. And now Ayayi pokes it away. Let's go back to Drew Timmy. Patient. Poised. Reads. Pivots. Beautiful. And he is from Richardson, Texas. Oklahoma really wanted him, and you understand why. Sophomore second team All-American. Manic guarded by Suggs in the corner. Manic needs some help. Nine to shoot. Williams opposite. Four to shoot. Williams. Rattles at home, you know, big one for Williams. There's been several possessions here in the first half where Oklahoma has taken Gonzaga deep into the shot clock and they've made a play. It's a great recipe for an upset. Now it's Manic on Timmy, and it is Suggs attacking. That's a foul. And looks like, yeah, it looks like Quet is shaken up too. Quet hits the deck, called for the foul. And he took a pop. I think Queth has been by far the most active defender for Oklahoma. And he's anchoring their D. So he can allow them to pressure up and to not have to overhelp because you got a shot blocker back there that's erasing shots at the rim. Three blocks, and the officials have gone to the monitor to have a double uh, check of this one to see if there was anything 
flagrant or to see how Queth took that pop. Actually, I don't see him getting popped in the mouth. Let's check in with Gene Steratore. What'd you see? You know, for, my, for me, I feel like the defender went straight up. Principle of verticality. It feels to me like Suggs leads with his forearm to kind of clear out. Now, what you have to see, even though they call a defensive foul on the court, they can look to upgrade if they think that that was unnecessary by Suggs, the leading with the forearm. I don't think that rises to an F1 foul on the drive by the offensive player. Uh, but my personal opinion is I think the call on the court felt more like an offensive foul uh, as opposed to a block on the defense. I think Lon Kruger agrees with you, Gene. I'm sure that he would on that one, Carter. <laughs> <laughs> and in fact, it's a, it's a lengthy discussion right now between Doug Chows and Lon Kruger. So common foul and nothing flagrant there, although Coach Kruger is still lobbying. It's That's a, a bad break for Oklahoma. Now can Gonzaga take advantage? Spins in for subs on the first. Well, the only good news out of it for Oklahoma and Quet is able to stay on the floor, and that was just his first personal foul. He has three blocks. Suggs gets them both, but that's a tough trip for the Sooners. Yeah, and the, the last time Gonzaga made free throws, they went back to this three-quarter court pressure, and it resulted in a turnover. See, Reeves doing a better job keeping the ball in the middle of the floor this time, not on the sideline. That way it's harder to track. Here's this matchup that I know Reeves likes. I, I thought he liked it a lot. You know, Gonzaga is so good. Oklahoma was nearly perfect, especially early, and yet you're down by double digits. Yeah. Reeves makes it single digits again with Timmy's hand in his face. He does like it. I, I thought he did. Exactly the action, right? Inside, there's Watson off the bounce. Reeves nearly takes it away. Instead, Timmy attacks. Coming up on AT&T at the half, scores and highlights and all of the latest NCAA tournament news that is coming up on AT&T at the half. Let's check in with Lauren. Well, I talked to Drew's mom, Megan, today. She said Drew knows intense, but he loves to have fun more. He thinks Coach Few is a bit too intense, so he lightens the mood with a chest bump before every game. She said the first time Drew did it, Coach was mortified. Now it makes him smile, a stress reliever, if you will. I think everybody who has played for Mark Few is laughing along with that one, uh, <laughs> including our fellow Dan Dickow, because, yeah, it is, hey, there's a reason you win so many games. Now, there's a, another monitor review here. Chow's back to the monitor, and when we know, we will let you know. It's something to do with the clock. You know, we had a great conversation with Mark Few about the continuity of staying, and people have sought after him, and he stayed. He keeps, says they keep adding and growing at Gonzaga. Their facilities are outstanding. Their resources are great. And he said, why would you want to mess with Happy? I love that. You know, Don't mess with Happy. That's not a, that's not a basketball uh, point. That's a life point. We're happy. We're not messing with it. Thrilled to be here for Oklahoma and Gonzaga. So is Megan. And Drew is putting on a clinic in the first half. There's a 44 on the board for Gonzaga. 14 of them from Drew Timmy to go with six rebounds. Perfect from the free throw line. That's kickball watch masters live on paramount plus for coverage of featured groups a man corner and holes 15 and 16 go to paramountplus.com to try it free carter since brady manic hit the first three of the game he's 0 for 6 since then he needs to pick up his pace on the offensive end for oklahoma well, double on the screen timmy comes out great change off the timeout Williams down the baseline. Parkless, shot fakes on Timmy. Now back into the corner. Williams, Oklahoma could have used that one. Timmy has another rebound. He nearly has a first half double-double. I really like the change by Mark Few. Try to speed up that Oklahoma offense. They're getting too comfortable. Timmy to Watson. May not be just a double-double for Mr. Timmy. He's messing around. 
Largest lead for Gonzaga. Reeves, long heave. Here come the Bulldogs. Ayayi in tight on Reeves. Offensive foul. Reeves gets back and draws the charge on Ayayi. It takes courage to make that play, Carter, with two fouls. Austin Reeves does a great job getting back in transition. This is great hustle right here. What a terrific job getting his feet outside the arc. You referee the defense, legal guarding position, excellent call. Making this a huge possession for Oklahoma. Marcus brings it across. Williams on the wing, thought about the three and set in tight and get it back to Reeves to reset. And that's exactly what Mark Hughes doing, changing the D, trying to speed it up here in the last possession. Williams almost took that shot. You don't want to give them extra possessions. Reeves in tight kick, Williams in the corner, shot fake. One Dan Williams out. Will it count or will it not? That is close to a shot clock violation on the dunk and now we're gonna go now we're going to go check again. I mean, terrific dunk, but clock. That's oh my goodness. Yes. I mean, that's a, that's a Mr. Liberty dunk, but I don't think it's going to count. That's clear. I mean, Oklahoma just took. Yeah. It's not, I don't think it's going to count, but you also need to see how much time is left on the game clock, because I think there's more than a second left. Yeah. It might be 2.1 up there, Carter. And for and right now, just one on, but we'll, we'll take a look. So if you get two seconds here, they inbound to midcourt, two dribbles. It's going to a 2.2. Yeah, there it yeah, is, yeah. so two dribbles and a chance. you got to make Gonzaga come back to the basketball. You can't let him catch it moving up the floor. Cook, there's your dribbles. Cook lets it fly. It is Gonzaga 46-34, the half on Oklahoma. Despite the early eight-point lead for the Sooners, the Bulldogs an 18-6 run to take command here at Hinkle. We'll send you to AT&T at the half right after these messages. You're watching the NCAA Men's Basketball Championship. Let's take a look at our Wendy's first half stats. It is Gonzaga by double digits and Gonzaga getting on the run with Lauren Shahadi, Debbie Antonelli, Carter Blackburn. The word perfect keeps coming up for Gonzaga. Understandably why Oklahoma played near perfect, especially early, and yet you're down double digits at the half. Well, they got to stop turning the ball over. That's one thing. You cannot give Gonzaga extra possessions, Carter. They are dangerous when they do because they're the most efficient offense in the nation. Drew Timmy is part of the reason why they play two and through. Look at the footwork on the inside. Look at the pivot. All you young players out there, look at the poise and the ability to finish. Nice isolation by Gonzaga. And so as we take a look at the 14 points, I mean, walk us through how Timmy has been so good. Well, five for six, we will discuss it more. Let's check in with Lauren. Probably wondering what Coach Few wants. He wants movement, Carter, more of it constantly. He said, we like our pace, and we want them to adjust to it. Also, he said, just give Timmy the ball, which is funny. It's exactly what Coach Kruger doesn't want. He says, you got to get him. You got to crowd him. And he also said exactly what Deb just said. Giving second chances to a team like this, it doesn't work. Mm. So, Debbie, exactly what these coaches are thinking. And uh, I tell you what, for Lon Kruger, uh, I think before we mention anything else about Lon Kruger, we should say happy about uh, Kevin Kruger getting the UNLV job. Yeah. Gonzaga's won 50 straight when leading at the half, and here they are, five wins from the perfect season for the first time since the spirit of 76. But first, let's move on to next weekend with a win over Oklahoma into the Sweet 16. So how critical is this stretch at the beginning of the second half for the Sooners? Well, I think it's always cliche to talk about the first four minute segment. I think all coaches point to that from an energy standpoint, but the middle pick and roll has been an issue for Gonzaga and Drew Timmy doesn't have any fouls. I think he can be a little bit more aggressive in that ball screen coverage. Reeves played through foul trouble for Oklahoma on the floor with two. 
Reeves had the hot hand early for the Sooners. Hill left alone. Timmy left him alone. I mean, wide open, you have to make that 15-footer. Oklahoma led by eight early. Gonzaga with 31 straight wins. Kispert lost it. Did he? Yes, he did. Backcourt violation by Kispert just left it. Watch Jalen Hill right here. He's going to move himself into this area after the, the pitch. He catch. Timmy is stuck down trying to protect against penetration. And Hill sticks the jumper. So essentially a chance to double up out of halftime here for the Sooners. Barkless resets it. Manic diving cut off nicely by Kispert. Yeah, they don't like to get the ball to Manic in that situation. He's more of a cop. Barkless gives it up, and then he doubles. Compounds it with the foul. Turnover, and then foul. Suggs disrupts defensively again. His second, fifth on the team. Yeah, we've just talked about it. Nine first half turnovers after this Oklahoma team only turned it over six times in round one against Missouri. That's remarkable. It is remarkable if you knew anything about Conzo Martin's defense right. at Missouri. That was a high level game. Take it away by Reeves. The turnover battle. Big early in the second half. Reeves is going to reset. They don't want to waste this possession. Here comes Timmy defending. Harkless tries the deep three. Timmy into the hands of Ayayi. Kisford nearly turns it over again. Harkless nearly took it away from Suggs. Jalen Suggs in tight. Cut off. Kick back. Kispert. Triple. Just what you wanted from Kispert early in the second half. Yeah, I, I thought he needed to get going here in the second. He is too dangerous offensively. He moves without the ball so well. Timmy defending again on Reeves, finds the hill at the elbow. Suggs has the rebound. Sooners trying to get back. Suggs passes over on Hill. Oh, boy. Wow. Stop down here, and Bill may have some blood. Look at the crossover, the body Official control. Timeout. You drive to the hoop like that. You go rim, body, ball. He does such a good job of getting his hips and shoulders past. In, uh, off the bounce does Jalen Sarts. Yeah, Hill has some blood, so our officiating crew stops him down to make sure he's out of the game and gets the attention. Suggs warding off. Again, just a basketball player. Right? Not, yeah, not even going to look at this one. No. Jalen Suggs, the tremendous football player and basketball player. He has done it on both ends today and all year for Gonzaga. Arkless finds Hill. Seven to shoot. Hill on Timmy. Fade away. Big one for Jalen Hill. That's what Jalen Hill has to do when he has the Timmy matchup. He can't settle for a jump shot. He's got to close that space off the bounce and get into the yes, defensive body of Timmy. Timmy hangs a foul on Manic. BR Kicks is the home to all things sneakers in fashion from Kicks Cam to Fit Watch to unboxings and more. BR Kicks has you covered. At BR Kicks, we are all sneakerheads. Follow BR Kicks. Third foul on Reeves sends Timmy to the free throw line again, and the Bulldogs have been perfect from the strike. Yeah, I don't think Lon Kruger can take him out. I think you have to have him on the floor. It's too, too, too much of a dangerous time right now. Oh. Lane violation? How about that? The first Gonzaga free throw miss, and we get a lane violation. Yep. Just by that, Hill stepping in. Speaking of kicks. I think Jalen Suggs set that up. 
Really? Crafty? Yes, it is. Very crafty. Well, that is uh, that is an underappreciated basketball move there, Debbie. <laughs> A little head fake. So now officially no one has missed a free throw of the game. Hiller attacking. We'll see. That's a block. On the block charge. So you can see Timmy is helping in the paint and trying to deter the ball from going inside. So he's laid on a closeout and recover. It's a well-designed play executed by Oklahoma. You get the weak side busy. And you go two-man game with Timmy. Clutch free throws late from Jalen Hill in the win over Missouri. They're going to need them all now. And with Lon Kruger, when, uh, to say excited in Lon Kruger, those don't usually go together. But he said, hey, we're excited to still be playing. And he gets excited when he talks about this team's character and chemistry. Really loves this bunch. I mean, this is a team in Oklahoma that had four top ten wins this season, Carter. Certainly prepared for the Big 12. A phenomenal Big 12 year. Hill has all of Oklahoma's points in the second half. Hill gets this offensive rebound. Manic. Two good looks for Oklahoma. Timmy has another rebound. Suggs. Hill runs it down to the corner. Did he step out? He did. Hill trying to corral it out of bounds. Ball to Gonzaga. Yeah, this was really cool. Right after we talked about Lon Kruger and asked him about the UNLV job and does Kevin have a chance? And Coach Kruger said, hey, I, I, I'm pulling for him. And right after we hung up the phone, Lon Kruger is when the, the call came from Kevin to Lon. And they Kevin played for Lon at UNLV. And now Kevin takes over the running Rebels. And, Long said, hey, I think they're ready for some stability. Late in the clock here for Gonzaga. Drew Timmy off the bounce, off the window. He does it all. So much poise and composure with a late shot clock to make one more. Now we started about saying, how do you stop Gonzaga? How in the world do you stop Drew Timmy? Reeves, step back. It's Timmy defending Reeves, making that shot even harder. See, now all of a sudden it's one pass and a shot for Oklahoma. Now you're playing a little bit too quick. Your shot selection has to be really good because if not, extra possessions for Gonzaga, which means extra touches on the offensive end for Drew Timmy. Need to check your bracket? Just tell Siri, show me college basketball scores. Score here, 55-39. Now it's time for Real Strength Moments presented by Dove Men Plus Care. It's Haga D. I mean, we know they're the most efficient offense in the country. They're also in the top 10 with their defensive efficiencies. A couple of blocks or charges and then a couple of blocks around the rim. It's a well-constructed Scout by Mark Fuse team. Here's a Yai fouled on the way up. Nice piece by Greg Bishop in Sports Illustrated called the program. It was funny, the athletic director Mike Ross said that I think Mark would be this successful. Heck no. <laughs> I mean, it's hard to imagine your, your 22nd season as head coach, 32nd year at Gonzaga, and you have a chance at perfection in 2021 and it's here in the all indiana ncaa tournament you know he told us he's trying to keep it in perspective with his guys they went to the baseball field here locally they played football they got a little badminton in. they competed no matter uh, whatever they're doing and, or whatever they're doing they are competing and what's so impressive about gonzaga is it's not just one style of play they adjust and tweak and it is NBA-like, right? It's no question it's NBA-like. The, the stuff they run, the space that they play in. The one thing I think Oklahoma needs to do right now is be a little more aggressive off the bounce. They've got to get to the free throw line. They've only made one trip in the game. Kisper, he was shot ready. Harkless has the rebound. 
Part of the reason why Oklahoma made this an eight-point game in the first half is because they were able to score and to make Gonzaga take the ball out of the net. The nine turnovers resulted in nine points for Gonzaga. You can't do that. Timmy defending Gibson. Seven to shoot. Reeves in tight. Oh, that's a tough one oh, over Jalen Suggs. Big bucket. That's how Reeves got it started. How about the outlet pass? <laughs> Kisper shot ready again. This time it's a MIG, and now the wheel is turning and it can't slow down. Bulldogs by 19. You bring the double, and Kisper steps into a catch and shoot three. Reeves, Queth on the catch, what a five. Good look, Harry Hammer. You gotta play in the middle third. You gotta challenge that ball screen coverage. Yeah. M. Hart, Timmy, foul, believe is on the floor. Let's check in with Lauren. Well, 22 seasons as head coach for few at Gonzaga and all the success, he's never even interviewed for another job. I asked him why. He said, look, I love this program. I love fly fishing. I love being outdoors in the Pacific Northwest. He told me it's not always bigger, better. He said, my father, Norm, was a minister at Cresswell Presbyterian Church in Oregon for 54 years. He never left. Isn't it funny? We're more like our parents than we know, right? Oh, that's so great. I mean, just, just love it. And uh, Norm celebrated his uh, 90th last November. Yeah, it really is. It's, it's. I mean, so well respected. Uh, never heard a bad word about Mark Few no, and Lon Kruger either. Two great gentlemen in the game. And they have both been tremendous serving and raising money in the fight against cancer and supporting health care workers. We talk about the fight against cancer. Let's not forget that they have been leading for years and trying to get more funding on the cancer research and they have just two of the two of the best we were coming through martinsville indiana uh, coming back from bloomington i think that coach wooden would be happy of the way that these two head coaches are teaching in the 21st century and leading the two-time big eight player of the year lon kruger Tremendous athlete. And, and that, that's part of it. Long Kruger will auction those shoes off, coaches versus cancer. That's one of the reasons why the old school kicks are on Coach Kruger's feet. He's got Billy Tubbs, Lou Hill, Anthony Stewart, and Jude Starkey's names on his shoes. Billy Tubbs, the phenomenal Oklahoma coach who had the fire in his belly. And keep an eye if you want to make a contribution in the fight against cancer and supporting health care. Here's Harkless. Ripped away. Nimhart Harkless gets it back, and it is a battle. Harkless. Timmy kept it alive. Good wall up on the penetration by Nimhart. And now Timmy off the bounce. Rejected. What a block by Williams, sending OU on the run. See, that play is too slow developing for Timmy. It's a quality of the catch for him. He needs to catch it deeper. Reeves behind the back on Suggs. Reeves is playing with something to prove with Jalen Suggs guarding him. When Drew Timmy puts the ball on the floor, look at the Oklahoma defense converge to the paint. They get a stop and a transition opportunity. But Timmy gets a rare break. No chest bump, but... That's just a pre-game thing. Yeah. Williams around Suggs. Suggs backs off. You got to challenge him off the bounce, Carter. At this point in the game, if you can get to the free throw line, get the clock stopped. Into the corner, Kispert. Namhard. Watson, shot fake. Oh, that's a great shot fake by Watson, the sophomore from Gonzaga Prep. Well, it's a great skip, and as the skip is coming over the top of the floor, Watson is getting deep penetration with a double berry at the rim. Good find inside. 
Reeves off the window. Austin Reeves, a former shocker. Now a Sooner star. Kisper, one timer wants it. Reeves off the screen, gets around Watson, and now attacks again. Short, fighting for the rebound. Reeves follows his miss, just throws it up for Quest. Harkless, drive, dish, Williams. Oh, he was ready. He was ready to take flight, but it counts for two all the same. Timeout, Gonzaga, Oklahoma trying to make a push. Williams. Gonzaga up 15, watch the double team right here, and then you cannot lose Corey Kispert on the perimeter. Too late to recover, catch and shoot wide open, and on the other end, watch the dribble handoff here, and watch Reeves turn the corner, get to the paint. Does such a good job of reading. That's drop coverage by Gonzaga on that ball screen, and Reeves has been taking advantage of it all game, Carter. Beautiful ball, but here's Oklahoma down by 15. So you talk about a tall task against undefeated Gonzaga. Less than 11 to go. You're down by 15. So what's the path for Oklahoma? I, I like that last possession. Drive it, get to the rim, put some pressure on their defense off the bounce, try to get to the free throw line. Ayayi in the corner. And now the Sooners have to go. Williams cut off, back into the hands of Reeves. Now they're switching that middle pick and roll. It's a good change by Mark Few. Now you don't let Reeves get to the rim. You keep him out of the paint. It's a good adjustment. Great defensive rebound by Watson. Ambar Quet shows out. Ambar, what a move. Yeah. And Quet recovers to get the block on Watson. Harkless, Lars, Quet, fouled on the other end, end to end for the big man from South Sudan. Trying to get Oklahoma back in it at Hinkle. Bye. Unbelievably delicious Coca-Cola vanilla. Vanilla is hard to describe, but in a good way. Gonzaga by 15. We have more college hoops coming your way this weekend. And on Saturday, we tip things off with the NCAA Division II Men's Basketball Championship presented by Reese's. Saturday at noon, right here on CBS. Now, Quap misses the free throw, but he has played very well for the Sooners. He's been terrific on the defensive end. He's not a great free throw shooter, but he has recorded four blocks on the right side of the box score. And sometimes you got to have guys like that. They can fill up the right side of the box score with points, or not with points, but with rebounds and with blocks. I think that's funny that a scoring drought for Gonzaga is two minutes. Other teams, that's not a big deal. Nambar tries the three. Tap out, Harkless has it. Here's a real opportunity here. Oklahoma can't have empty possessions moving forward. They have got to get to the free throw line. So Reeves draws the double. Timmy, hard hands, recover. See how they play the pick and roll on Reeves. Quest, Harkless. Find the shoot, back to Quet. Here's Harkless, good screen from Quet. Set it all up. Yeah, you, you can't go empty on these last nine minutes. Seven straight for the Sooners. To get back in it, Reeves steals it away. And now Williams gives it back. 
Cook closes. Reeves, lob, Queth, getting to the free throw line. Not a bad foul. Queth, not a good free throw shooter. But we're talking about Queth and some D. He's brought it today. He has been unreal off the glass. Blocking shots, keeping it alive, get it, allow Oklahoma to get into their transition game. I like those kind of shot blockers, Carter. I don't like them going into the fifth row. You don't want to let Gonzaga get organized with their, their defense. Well, Oklahoma playing with motivation. Yes, they're without Davion Harmon, but if they win this game and get to play next weekend, Harmon hopefully back with the Sooners. That is the plan. So shorthanded, but uh, the Sooners are playing with the fire as well. And here's a reminder, this is the seventh place team in the Big 12. Timmy. Go, 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 go. Shot fake, inside, Quet comes over, and one. One eight goal. What a great possession for Gonzaga. They've been struggling to score the last few. When they get it inside to Timmy, you can always dump it in there, and he can make something happen. High off the glass, and one. Count it. One. Timmy at the line has one. With a headband like Wilt and Walton. A versatile 21st century big man. Williams. I like to change to the 1-3-1 one, one, and half court. Reeves guarded by Kispert. Reeves crosses over in time. He's not done yet. He is so good. He has been fantastic. 20 in the game. Swings a pass. Quirth rejects. Timmy runs it down. Timmy right back to the rim. Never quit. Fist pumps and let's go. And Reeves does, splits it, floats it over Timmy, and it's high level. You go 1-3-1 one, one to try to stimulate your offense a little bit, change the rhythm of the game, but you open up the floor for Austin Reeves. Let's see if Mark Few stays in at the next possession. Timmy. Well, he was eyeing it. Emhart with Timmy rolling. Emhart's a pass first. And yet, three seconds? Three seconds with one showing on the shot clock. You're going to change D? Bring the 1-3-1. One, one. Reeves off the bounce. So good. Paramount Plus is here. Live sports, breaking news, and a mountain of entertainment. Paramount Plus, try it free. Here at Hinkle Fieldhouse, 71-59 Gonzaga, but Oklahoma, regardless of result, is giving the Bulldogs a test. They're putting some game pressure on them, Carter, and that's what you want to do. Oklahoma's only turned the ball over one time in the second half. And very much like Alex Barcelo at BCU and Jordan Ford at St. Mary's from the West Coast Conference, Austin Reeves is handling his business in the middle of the floor against Gonzaga's D. And how about Lon Kruger coaching up out of the timeout? So only one single digit win during this run, and that was West Virginia. They beat Iowa by 11. They beat BYU by 10. West Coast Conference Championship game. Kenny with a shot fake that is on the floor. Foul on Quinn. Who envisioned greatness today? Tune in to Inside March Madness, presented by Buick, and find out. That was just another way that Mark Few can isolate Drew Timmy. He slips that screen, he gets the one-on-one -on -one and draws a foul. Third foul on Quet. Kispert stays in the slot. Sucks and play on, no foul. There's Kispert. 
Oh. Second chance. Suggs kept that one alive for Timmy. What a play by Suggs in tight. He makes them all. Now Suggs behind the screw from Timmy. Oh. Jalen Suggs switches hand. Timmy gets the follow with a chance at a three-point play. Eye to eye. Suggs and Timmy. Drew Timmy sets the middle screen and roll and gets to the rim. He leads this team in offensive rebounding. Better than two a game. So tough inside. He gets two feet in the paint. Forget about it, Carter. He scored their last seven, even with the free throw miss. So you talked about game pressure on the Zags, and that was a terrific trip responding to the pressure from Oklahoma. Reeves guarded by Timmy. Shot fake, get it right back. Just flatten it out and let him go one on one. That's exactly what Oklahoma's doing. Good decision. Right read by Reeves. Twenty-four to keep Oklahoma in it. Taken away by Harkless. Kispert runs back to get it. Timmy, here comes the double. They bring it on the delay. Saul G. Yeah, that is blocked. Williams got a hand on it. Oklahoma on the run. Harkless. Oh, oh, oh. Too high for Quet and a missed opportunity for oh, the Sooners. That is a huge miss by Oklahoma. You got numbers two on one. Off your defense. Harkless just leaves it up there too high. He could have taken it himself. Nemhart. Reeves. Oh. He can invert to the block, Carter, but he likes to take this first. Instead of looking to score. Gonzaga five wins from perfection. Less than five minutes to go for Oklahoma's chance at ending that dream. Touched out of bounds, it will be Gonzaga basketball. Scan this code now to watch live games on your computer, phone, tablet, or streaming device with NCAA March Madness Live. Watch now at NCAA.com slash March Madness or download the app today. See if Oklahoma can get a stop. Skip, Suggs. Oh. Hey. Oh, 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 I mean, that is just about impossible, and yet Jalen Suggs gets the bucket, and Oklahoma can't get the stop. Reeves, cut off. Get it out of his hands. Manning hadn't done much today. He has not been a big factor for the Sooners. So Williams hits it over Timmy. Yeah, that's what's going to have to happen here because Oklahoma has done a nice job of reading the changing ball screen coverages, and you're going to have to make open shots. Foul on Harkless, and looks like Jalen Suggs has his eye on advancing. I mean... Spike Zags getting to test, but they still lead it by double digits. Austin Reeves is trying to bring the Sooners back. 10 for 15 in the game. He does such a good job of reading ball screen offense. He gets to the second level with great vision. Today he's had to call his own number, and he has been outstanding. Playing with foul trouble, only turned the ball over. Four times in the first half, has not turned it over here in the second. At this point, it would be almost miraculous for Oklahoma, but March miracles do occur. Suggs gets a bowl. He has a championship attitude right now, Jalen Suggs. Reeves, lob, knocked away, Timmy comes away with it, Timmy keeps it alive, Kispert, fight on the baseline, it's taken away by Williams, another chance for Oklahoma, 
Williams calls over. Casper blocks it. Teddy rebounds it. Nemar backs it out. Gonzaga runs some clock. Timmy bounces inside to Yai. From behind, there's Manic on the defensive end. Gonzaga keeps it seven to shoot. Brady Manic has struggled on the offensive end tonight, but he makes a big play here late on the defensive end. Both teams' offenses trying to get behind the other team's defense in the last possessions. And Whoa. there's a turnover. That's a stunner with no time off the clock. That's the perfect recipe for Oklahoma. They're running this action for Kispert. He just reads the D because Manic's on him. Manic tries to shoot the gap. He flares. That's the right read by Kispert. Williams, Timmy defending. Back out, Reeves takes it with the sunlight shining through the windows on him, Austin Reeves. Suggs puts it, lost it on the way up, Timmy bails him out. Blocking foul is called. Timmy pointing to the charge circle. In historic angle, with the sun through the pain. What a shot by Reeves to make it single digits in a three possession game with Timmy at the line. And yet, the fourth personal foul on Austin Reeves as Timmy continues to make winning plays for Gonzaga. Timmy has the double double with 26 and 12. Reeves giving it his all for Oklahoma. I think Reeves keeps it, Carter. I think he's got 27. He's had the hot hand. He's got to, they've got to find him and get him off the ball. A quick back cut. Williams lays it in. Good look from Webb, who has been terrific. It's a timeout with Oklahoma game pressure on undefeated Gonzaga. Now 2.05 to go. Can the Sooners pull it off? New on CBS Sunday, over 50 million fans have watched Queen Latifah equalize the playing field in the CBS original series, The Equalizer. New episodes return this Sunday at 8, 7 central or stream anytime on CBS. What a game, Carter. What a game. Oklahoma has made shots. They've kept Gonzaga out of transition, and they haven't turned the ball over in the second half. Neville finds Timmy again. Timmy clears it out himself. Foul called. Timmy doing something special, closing in on his career high. See, Manic has one personal foul. He has got to be more aggressive right here. He pushed Timmy up the lane, not let him catch it so deep. Because forget about it. If he catches in the front of the rim, that's a bucket. And it's the fourth personal on Quet. Double digit lead again for Gonzaga. Oklahoma led by eight early. Bulldogs have led by as many as 19. Drew Timmy with 12 field goal attempts, making nine of them. He's 11 for 13 from the free throw line. Make that 12 for 14. Career high for Drew Timmy. Reeves has been almost as spectacular. Manic caught on. And Mark does a good job closing that space. Williams in the paint. Ripped away. It's a tie-up. Possession arrow will give it to Gonzaga. Another winning play. They switch on everything in this possession defensively. Good job by Watson. That's a 
great smile. He earned it too. And Zaga trying to close it out. Remain perfect. This is why they're so tough, because they're just going to take the shot clock down. You got to run to it, Nemhart, try to make something happen. Suggs trying to get it out of his hands. That is timeout. Timeout granted. Bulldogs closing in on 28 now. That's Jalen Suggs with the cut on his head. That's how hard fought this one has been. At the end of that play, yeah, Reeves and Suggs. Well, you, you have to change your D here if you're Oklahoma. You can't just let them run down the clock. Now there's 12 on the shot clock, so you, you can't foul because they're going to shoot two free throws. Now it's a touch gloves between Suggs and Hartless. So get it into Timmy and play through him. Give it up, Kispert, triple. Wow. Great out of bounds play. Direct pass to the post. Wide open Kisper. Suggs commits the foul. <laughs> Mark Hughes coaching it hard as he always does. Watch Timmy inside. Get great post up position. Manic goes to help. Late to recover. Reeves attacks Timmy, and here's Drew Timmy with the block. Does some mugging after the block on Reeves. Timmy was almost a sooner. Oklahoma recruited him hard. But Gonzaga got him, and here's Timmy with a career-high 30 points, 12 rebounds, and here's a run out for Suggs. Harkless gives a hard foul, yeah, it'll be flagrant. And, and now it's time to separate as the Sooners and Bulldogs. Mark Few is out there trying to get Jalen Suggs to back off. And I don't, I don't really blame Jalen Suggs for being upset. That was a hard push from the back. Officials are going to have to take a look at it. It's going to be interesting to see uh, what, how much they upgrade this, Carter, because there was a play on the ball from behind, but there also was a push. And player safety, obviously, a point of discussion here. Gene, what did you see? There is a play on the ball, but we can also see that there's a pretty good push in that back which definitely is excessive, unwarranted. I think the question right now is whether they rise this to a flagrant one and just stay with that, or the potential that Suggs' health and safety could have been in jeopardy by that push and elevate that to a flagrant two foul in a potential ejection. Dangerous one of the key words for flagrant two. I mean, look at the... The wording for flagrant two, excessive, severe, or extreme. In fact, the rule book has brutal, harsh, cruel, and, and it's the wording on whether it's a flagrant two. Yeah, I think they'll keep it at a one. Certainly excessive in nature, which is the definition of the flagrant, and it will be flagrant one. Now. For Harkless, it is personal foul number five, and he has fouled out. So re regardless of flagrant one or flagrant two, it is Harkless fouling out of the game. And Gene, what do you think about the flagrant one? I agree with it. I think Hartless also, if we look, we see his right hand, it's kind of slowing Suggs down a little bit. So to say that that was extremely severe, like a blatant two-hand push or something like that, I think that's a fair assessment by the officials on the court. That's the way I felt about it too, Gene, from our vantage point and seeing it again. Hartless has played hard. He was terrific versus Missouri with 16 and 10. So for Hartless to foul out on that play, 
but flagrant one and officials and coaches and everyone involved doing a good job of separating the Bulldogs and the Sooners, especially Suggs thankfully, and Harkless. Right, excuse me, Carter. Thankfully, uh, Suggs is not hurt. So bloodied, and including on the, and here we go. I mean, that's Doug Chow's getting right in there. So credit to our officiating crew. William Henderson and Michael Irving and Doug Chow's. And Corey Kispert to get in there and tell him, no, 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 we're not doing that. We're trying to win a national championship. And now it's less than a minute, and it's Gonzaga by 15. So Oklahoma fighting to the end, playing it to the end. No fouls here. Now, now Manic gives it. So if it is not Oklahoma, Debbie, who is going to beat the Gonzaga Bulldogs? Huh. No one. I mean, they're my pick to win the whole thing from the beginning. But here's what you have on their side of the bracket. You've got potentially David McCormick at Kansas, Evan Mulway at Southern Cal, and Hunter Dickinson at Michigan, if Michigan can survive LSU today. Those are big men that maybe can challenge Drew Timmy, but I think he is so talented and crafty with the ball in his hands. Got to have good guard play, really good guard play to be able to exploit that middle pick and roll. Creighton, Ohio, later today on TNT. One of the great stories in this or any March. Ohio and the Bobcats, Jason Preston, they will get the big stage next with the opportunity to play Gonzaga if the Bulldogs can close it out in the last 37.3. Williams to the free throw line, so clock is stopped. And there is still plenty of coaching to do for Mark Few and Gonzaga as Williams rattles out the first. So here we are in Indiana talking about the 76 team, but here are the undefeated teams to win the national title. Gonzaga trying to join that stunning list. You got Bill Russell on the top of that list, and then uh, you got some Bill Walton in there as well mm -hmm. from UCLA. But I love Mark Few coaching every possession because it matters. You're trying to win a championship, and this is the second game on that ladder. You got four more to go. It'll be Suggs. Can't exactly dribble it out with that differential, but it's going to be Gonzaga. Oklahoma tested them. The Sooners led by eight early. And they brought everything they had, but it's Gonzaga by double digits and Suggs. Timmy gets the offensive rebound, and now Jalen gets to dribble it out. Sweet 16 again for Gonzaga. And now four wins from the most special season since the spirit of 76. Undefeated still, Gonzaga moves on to face either Creighton or Ohio. A terrific year for Oklahoma comes to an end. in the second round here at Hinkle Fieldhouse in Indianapolis, we will be back with the victorious Bulldogs in a moment. 87-71, Gonzaga on to the Sweet 16.